Hello, today is Wednesday the 27th of April and I haven't vlogged in a few days so I do apologise for that. I have just been going through quite a lot to be honest. Um, I'll try and fill you in on the like, things that happened this week. Monday I went to Aaron's um, and then I went home and then I worked all day yesterday, Tuesday and here we are Wednesday, I'm off today and I have my eye talk session yes I cried I always do um, in today's session we um, I, well I had to do homework on um, five aspects and I had two incidents that happened one this week and one last week so I filled them in today and she was handy to fill them in because they were still fresh in my mind and I could think about more of my thoughts and everything so yeah so he's going to send me a document or two for like my homework for next week i've got to fo focus on um what they call nat's negative thoughts i think negative automatic thoughts i think they're called um like the thoughts that automatically appear in our heads that are quite negative so he wants to focus on those and why i think of those i know i am very big on my insecurities at the moment and I need to learn to trust people and I think because I've been let down so much in my past that is why my trust issues and my insecurities are so high so I need to really just work on those and I know that I need to I recognize that I need to so that's a good thing so pets at home package has just arrived it's right here these are cookies bits for hopefully in the next few months so i'm gonna open it with you guys because i thought i'd do a little unboxing so you can see the bits that i got and i spent 39 pounds because in order to get free shipping you need to spend at least 39 pounds i don't really know where i am meant to actually rip from i don't really know is there like a poly tab somewhere maybe if i do this but this is another cardboard box I can have. Ah, oh, I've got a pulley tab. This is cool. Okay, I'm gonna like quickly try and like share with you. I've got a pulley tab. I don't really. Is this meant to go across? Oh, well, that failed. I don't really know. Am I meant to just lift it? Okay, so I can sort of lift it. Maybe if I lift it like that, it will just eventually open. So I've got... Do I put it off of here? Uh -huh. Okay, so maybe this is how you open it. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? Maybe if I lift this side... Uh, this side doesn't want to cooperate so much. A getting that. So if I try and lift one more. Oh, come on. Work with me. Work with me. There we go. Okay. We are in. We're in, people. We are in. So. Box. Let's try it. Actually, open it like a box. Hey, here we go. Here are my bits. So I'm going to pull them out one by one just to share with you the bits that I got and I'm so happy that I managed to get these bits because I really really needed to get them so most importantly I needed some wood shavings they didn't have the medium bales so I just got a couple of small bales these are only like 99p each so wood shavings for them but to be honest one of these will probably actually last maybe a month maybe more actually probably maybe two months yeah and I got yeah like I, said, I got a couple of these because they didn't have medium so I bought like the 299p ones next of all I've got a brand new hammy toilet because the one he's got is like completely full of well it's completely scaled and I don't really know what colour this one is oh it's a yellow one so I'll just pull it out we got a yellow one this time and it comes with 
shavings, but yeah, the other one's just really scared. And the lid broke off, that's why I needed to get a new one because the lid. So yeah, you can get like red, you can get blue, you can get yellow. So I've got a yellow one. Why not? Why not change the colour up? Okay, next in the box, I've got some K Trash granules. I ran out of these probably a couple of months ago and I think they've only just near enough come back in stock actually. Um, yeah, because of the whole corona situation, couldn't really get a lot of things. I was lucky to get wood shavings really because that was all out of stock. So yeah, I've got some cage fresh granules. These are awesome. They make the cage smell so nice. Okay, next of all, I got some clean and safe spray. This is my lifesaver for my hamster. I spray his cage with this and clean it with some kitchen towel. I spray his like his toilet. I spray yeah, pretty much his cage, his food bowls with it. Um, it's a safe spray for animals. It kills bacteria and viruses as well. So it's really good. It's a disinfectant and cleaner. So I've got one of those because I'm nearly run out of the one that I've got. And then I got some grooming wipes. I ran out of these a couple of months ago as well. These are brilliant. They are fantastic. You literally wipe them over your hamster and it cleans any bacteria from the coat and it makes them smell nice. All you've got to do is just got to rub the wipes along the coat from their neck to their tail and it removes any loose hairs and it literally just it makes them smell nice. Um, so yeah, these are absolutely brilliant. So I've got some of those. And then I've got some hamster food because I was running out of this. So I've got some Harry Hamster. Yay! These are really, like, really cheap. Um, these contain monkey nuts as well, which are brilliant. The Harry Hamster muesli. And Cookie loves the food. So I've got two of them. Because why not? Well, I also had to build it up to £39, so that's why I've got two of them. The rest of the items are treats. He hasn't had any treats for a couple of months. So I've got a couple of stickle treats. It didn't really matter on the flavour. This one is apricot and fig. They're only about £2.50 each. And this is beetroot and parsnip. But I give them one a week. Sometimes they last two. It all depends on how much he nibbles on them, but they're good for his teeth. And then these he absolutely loves. These are apple and oatmeal cakes. He loves these. If I put these down, he will nibble on it and he loves them so much. Another popular favourite of his are these baked, they're baked snacks. The apple and carrot, but he loves them. He will literally eat them. So I've got some of these baked bites and they are Pets at Home's own like, brand. So it's really cool. So I got some different bait bites this time as well. I got some biscuits and these are raspberry and cranberry ones. So that's cool. And then they didn't have any yogurt drops. So I just got two packs of chocolate drops. So chocolate for hamsters basically. Um, so yeah, they are ideal treats. Yeah, like I said, got two of them. And the last item in the box are these well they are apple strawberry apricot and banana scummies and yeah these it actually is suitable for rabbits guinea pigs hamsters chinchillas gerbils mice but it's actually called gertie guinea pig so it was under the tiny friends and these are tasty baked treats apple strawberry apricot banana Little baked treats for little small animals. So if it says it's suitable for hamsters, then they can have it. So that's brilliant. So this is my box. It's empty now. But I can use it in my garage for any storage, which is brilliant. Um, storage is good. If I want to store books or if I want to store things in the garage. Or for if and when I move, I've got another box. So these are the bits that I have unboxed for you today a little unboxing yeah so basically I've got this little treat jar that's next to Cookie's cage and it has treats in that I still got some from previously where well, it has some monkey nuts some doggy biscuits 
and some some nuts and yeah monkey nuts and there were some chocolate drops in there and basically I fill up the treat jar with these little sort of things and the chocolate drops and like he's got a little dish and I just basically I give it a shake so it all mixes in and then I scoop it out <laughs> and he has like one of those for the week and that's his little treat jar so he has like one little treat jar for the week and yeah keeps him happy like my hamster is like one thing that I love looking after and it's like that responsibility that I have and yeah Cookie is awesome he has helped so much with like my anxiety and my depression just having something to look after just seeing him when I come home from work and like whenever I go like through there to the toilet or do laundry he will pop his little head up and he will say hello he's just it's amazing just a small little thing how happy it can make me um yeah and he doesn't make any mess he's only in a cage and yeah he's really really helped especially during the recent times of this virus so yes yeah, so i'm really happy that i managed to get some bits of cookie i haven't bought anything for him like from pets at home in months january might have been the last time that i got him some things maybe it was before then i can't really remember i remember getting like a large bale of sawdust and that just lasted me ages and i had like one harry hamster and then I, I just had some of his toilet sand pebbles that he uses um for the hamster toilet but i've got him a new one now um which is good i can get rid of the old one because the lid broke um and he's got some stickle treats that you can chew his little teeth on and we finally got some cage fresh granules because I ran out and it just oh, it just makes it smell so nice. And um, yeah, chocolate drops and grooming wipes so that he smells nice and I can get rid of his fur and like, deep clean his fur and it's oh, so good. I'm just so happy that I have this cage clean and disinfectant again because I have been running out. And it's handy that this has all arrived today because today is his cleaning day. I won't actually clean him until like way later like after dinner sometime last time i cleaned him i think around seven because it's quite li um, light still in the evening i can uh, sort of clean him and i can just like clean him give the place a quick over and then i empty the bins like when it's proper dark like near 10 pm so i always try and do it like as close as i can a bit later so yeah, so I'm really happy that I got these things now. I'm happy that I got him some stickle treats, but this should last me definitely a few more months. I'm really, really happy that I have this all now. I mean, this spray lasts me, well, I think the, the other spray lasted me a good fair few months. Um, and the cage fresh granules definitely did. Um, yeah, and his treats do. I have been surviving um, with him on just getting like, but in a way human food like i've been getting him um vegetables corn and cob but I, I still do like so he's just been surviving on like baby corns and like mixed nut packages like berry and seed packages and you know things like doggy biscuits and like yeah like i say human food which has been fairly cheap for him and um yeah he's uh he's pretty pretty cool with it but um yeah he's currently sleeping at the moment i actually i feel like i just saw his head pop up actually yeah he's like falling asleep. i'm just he just popped his head up can you see him there he is he's like hello everyone i is up on my steep head mr cookie Here you come sit. oh he's been chewing his toilet roll that's really good so he's finding something to put his teeth on um yeah as you can see his blue toilet um the lids come off it's broken um so yeah so normally in this little dish down here this one here this red one is where i put his little treats in and then the one up here is this red one is where i put the little berry seed and nut mix in here although if i can try and find a seed and nut mix that might work better because i've noticed he's not so keen on those berries he's left some there so maybe he ain't so keen on the berries um yeah his food's nearly out this boy normally put his 
fresh vegetables in. Um, and yeah, he's come, he's come say hi to people. He's like, hello everyone. Hello. My name is Cookie. And I am a hamster. And I come say hi to people. Guess what, Mr. Cookie? I got you a stickle treat that I'm going to give you later. And you got chalky drops. You got some chalky drops. There's you have. You got chalky drops. So this jar over here is the jar that I, is normally his treat jar. At the moment, because I ran out of things to put in there, the essence of things will be at the bottom mostly. Um, but I managed to get a packet of mixed nuts and also I've thrown in some doggy biscuits. So this was like his little treat jar. So he can nibble on some nuts. So that's what I had temporarily. And then I was just buying these little weekly pots of seeds and nuts, but I'm gonna, um, probably not this week, but next week when I run out of this, I'll buy a, I'll try and find a seed and nut one. Not with the berries in because he probably doesn't like those berries if he's left them behind. So yeah, um, he's gonna have a good clean later. He's done really well. He normally stores like his little bits in that little corner as you can see. He's made a nice little pile at the back there of his little food. Um, yeah, he's having a look at those berries. Is he picking up those berries? Maybe he's picking those berries up because he's thinking, oh god, there's no food left, I might have to. Well, Mr. Cookie, you need to go back to bed because it's your sleepy time. But I will come see you later when I give you cleans. Yes, I will. Anyway, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on Cookie and his bits. And, yeah. So... As a plan of today, I don't really know. I got paid today, which is really good. And also, um, the owner of my company, he also um, gave us all a bonus. He decided to give us a bonus out of his own money, which is like, it's so nice. Um, so I got a hundred pound bonus today, which is brilliant. Like I've never had a bonus before, and something so small like that, a gesture so. Oh wow, I mean the gesture is probably quite big actually, but something like that has boosted me quite a lot. Maybe for really good because I really needed that money. I have, you know, just from buying cookies and bits and, you know, I've bought Aaron's birthday presents for next month and like that. I can let you know what I got because this video probably won't be up for a good while. But I basically, I got him a PS4 extension. I've got one myself, it's brilliant. Um, it's meant to hold, it says about 100 games. I've got him the same, the same one that I've got, I think. Um, and yeah, it's meant to hold like 100 plus games. And Aaron has got like over 100 games. He is forever like deleting the game and downloading a game because he can only have like about six games at once on his PlayStation. And for a gamer, who games more than me, he could really do with this. Um, that way he can have so many, like probably all his games up, like near enough. He's He's got over 100 games on his PS4, but like this would just, he'd be able to ha like have at least 100 games or round about that on his PS4. So yeah, this extension storage, he will love so much. I know that he will. And then um, I've got a couple of other presents and I don't really know how they're gonna go, but like basically I got these two rings. He has got a red and black one with this really cool sort of swirly design on. And then I've got this blue and silver one. And like basically, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see how it goes. Cause I really, really, I really don't know how it's gonna go. It can go one way or the other. And basically, um, yeah, I've given him some instructions in his birthday card, so I will reveal more of that by his actual birthday. So I'll, I'll let you know that I've definitely got the extension storage, but like these really cool rings 
and I got him a birthday card and I've already written in it here yeah. and um, yeah I'm really excited for him to open it and yeah don't know how it's gonna go and who knows but like I say we will hear more about it on the actual birthday so yeah I think we both got the week off so it'll be good to see him and yeah hopefully if all things are good and if we're still seeing each other and and everything and yeah hopefully hopefully um yeah I don't I don't I don't really know I don't really know um reading wise guys um I will talk more about my reading and my reading side of my vlog for the month but like just as a as a basic on my reading I feel a little bit all over the place at the moment with my reading I am in the middle of at least four books at the moment and I haven't been reading a lot I am in the middle of Confess by Colleen Hoover because I'm listening to that on the audiobook as I'm walking to it from work I've also started the latest Hunger Games book and I'm actually quite enjoying that and then I'm also reading The Tower Hill Terror by Dane Gabay so reading is a little bit all over the place like the basic gist of what I'm trying to say is my reading is just a little bit all over at the moment I haven't done very well with my actual TBR I've been reading books that are on my TBR so like I've been reading Confess I've been reading where are we The Tower Hill Terror The Hunger Games book isn't on my TBR but we're gross and we're gross and and I was going to start that because I had the audiobook for it but I can't get into it with the audiobook so I don't know what's happening with that so yeah reading's just been a bit but I'd like to do a bit of reading today and it's near enough lunch so probably what I'll do is I'll get some lunch and then I'll try and do a bit of reading but I just need to sit down for a good hour and do some reading I, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with just all the books I have but I'm really I've been very very good with my book spending the only book that I've got this month is the Hunger Games book which I am currently in the middle of reading so I'm doing really well in that sort of aspect but I'm not doing very well in reading the books that are on my TBR or like just reading in general there's so many books on my TBR and I don't know whether I need to try and reduce my TBR and maybe if I mention like five books to read for the month um, I don't really know like what to do because I have one unwrapped book I have one book that comes out of my 2019 top books and then I'll have one book that comes out of my actual TBR jar and then maybe I just have two that I want to read maybe if I try and keep it at five so I'm thinking of like for June just do that because I want to still use the TBR jars oh and then I'll so maybe the two that I want to read will have to come from my 2020 TBR because that's another challenge as well or one for my 2020 and one for my old books because that's got to happen as well so that might have to be the five books unless I do six because <sighs> I don't really oh I don't know it's very difficult for me at the moment I've, I've finished one book this month and I'm in the middle of like four other books if I finish those four books I do really well but oh yeah I think I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all my books and just with this this COVID-19 really doesn't help like I just want to distract my mind away from it and reading doesn't fully get rid of it from my mind but playing games or doing some sort of organizing does so that's why I just have been sticking to organizing and all that but I don't know guys I don't know anyway so yeah that's all that's happened this week um all the updates a little unboxing and yeah we are near enough halfway through the week I'm working all day tomorrow I'm off Friday but I'm going to be doing some food shopping and possibly seeing Aaron just for a few hours when I after I food shop and then I'm working Saturday and Sunday 
and yeah I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised with my pay this month um, even if I didn't get the £100 bonus I think I would have been satisfied um, and I need to like write down what I you know would have got obviously I would have been taxed a little bit less um, because the bonus got taxed on um, and pensioned on sort of thing so yeah um, I have to work out what I'll but I'll probably have to work that out next month if I if I really took off it's difficult I really I need to work one month without working overtime whatsoever and seeing what I earn with that with tax sort of thing to see what I get but this Saturday's shift is overtime so I'm working that so it's a Saturday overtime shift which is even more money I think it's £10.10 10 an hour which is brilliant which is why I'm working it um, so yeah um, yeah so I'm working Saturday Sunday and then I'll be off Monday so so yeah it's a bit of a mixture of a week um, Wednesdays are always my my busy day of the week just because of like cookie and um, like doing the bins and hoovering it's like my chore day and then I'm working tomorrow off Friday working the weekend so it's kind of like this week has been like off work off work off work work <laughs> just like that um yeah that's all I can really sort of like add on what's been going on and everything sorry if I could be bored you um yeah that that's it all so far um so yeah I'm gonna head off now to get some lunch then do some reading I'm probably gonna do a little bit of gaming and yeah I'm thinking my washing's probably dried because it's been a very hot day so I'll take that off as well and yeah I will speak to you guys hopefully very soon not sure when if it's not tomorrow because I'm working all day I will try and talk to you Friday before I go shopping maybe I don't really know I don't really know what's going on it's just I'm a bit all over the place in the moment just with everything so yeah speak to you guys soon it's Katie and today is the 30th of May today is Saturday I've been failing with my vlogging I didn't vlog yesterday I went food shopping and then I went to see my nan dropped her food shopping off and then I went straight to Aaron's chilled there for a bit he slept for a bit I managed to finish a book whilst I was there, watched an episode of Orphan Black whilst I was there and I did a bit more reading of another book but I'll talk more about my reading stuff in my actual reading vlog, I try to keep like my life and reading separate for those of you that are interested in what I get to, up to behind the camera and for those of you that don't really give a shit really so I try to be fair to people because to be honest most people are only on booktube for books so i completely understand that but there are some people that for some reason get fascinated in the things that i get up to like how my mind works and what i get up to and that sort of thing so currently it's 5 to 8 in the evening i've got some weekend jazz video going on in the background i work today 7 to 2 i got home and I pretty much like had a shower, got myself all comfortable, and then I started to play some Fun Fantasy 7 Remake because I'm still playing that, of course, I'm obsessed with it. And I'm going through a normal mode at the moment. I am basically mastering my material, I'm getting myself all prepped and trying to do all of the trophies that I can do before I go on to hard mode where I will actually have some trophies to get on hard mode only so I achieved a trophy today which is really cool 
next time I can probably achieve about two trophies because I've managed to push myself towards those other two trophies so that's really good so I'll be able to get two more trophies ticked off my list and then I will only have like a few left which will most probably be hard mode if I actually have a look so that's like one trophy there to do that one and then that's the ultimate trophy that's the next one on my list that's on the hard mode I've got one more of those I could probably end up getting maybe three trophies very close to do three so that's on the hard mode that is just when I get to it that's just getting to like level 50 and 300% damage I can do that within the next few chapters all battle intels I've very very nearly done that oh I've done the um, yeah so I can cross that one off because I actually did achieve that can't do this one until hard mode and yeah so I've near enough done my bit and yeah those are there's two more of those yeah so I've got a list here basically on all the post-it notes of trophies to get because I'm determined to get all the trophies and so one of them is just to get all the weapons and then this but the one that I want to achieve next is to get all nine dresses and I've just got two more today so I've only got to get sorry three more today and so I've only got to go and get three again and then on the same level I can do all the Johnny incidents I'm so annoyed because I could have done the Johnny incidents the first time I played the game however I forgot to do something in a side quest but all I had to do was return the wallet to Johnny and I didn't and because of that I didn't get the trophy so there's certain other trophies that are also only in hard mode only so like defeat the pride and joy prototype defeat a Marlboro complete all episodes on hard mode um, all enemy skills because the last enemy skill is on hard mode um, yeah and then the ultimate trophy which is to earn all trophies so yeah there's some that I can get to and then once I have mastered all materia to their maximum level and once I've got my characters to level 50 then I can begin on hard mode then I can slowly get myself through hard mode which I hear is very difficult um, so yeah I'm not sure how that's gonna go um, but I will do my best so yeah that's just the Final Fantasy sort of thing so yeah so I've watched an episode of Wolf and Black today as well whilst I was having dinner today I had it was a very strange dinner um, so I had a deck potato because I had one that needed to be eaten and I had some salad with it and then I had beans and sausages on toast with this meal so yeah it was strange like I could have just had the jacket potato with with beans and sausages but no I wanted a bit of toast with it too don't ask I just had a strange craving for to have it all it, it was weird but it filled me up and I didn't have anything extra like a dessert or any chocolate or anything so you know it was still it was probably naughty of a meal but it is what it is I like I say, I'm listening to jazz music. I am sorting out my videos because I haven't uploaded a video in a while. And I've got some videos that I did edit. Um, I have a vlog that I'm just uploading now that's going to go up today. And that's my last week of December vlog. So from the 23rd to the 29th, that is going up today. And then I've got three reaction videos that I edited, I think, last week. I just haven't been uploading videos, I just, one, haven't been motivated, two, haven't really had the time, to be honest. I have been working quite a lot, especially last week. I have been working, like, literally just, like, working, day off, working, day off, working, day off, um, and then this weekend is working, working. So, yeah, it's a little bit more eased off next week, because I've got Monday off, and I believe hopefully I'll be seeing Aaron on the Monday then I'm working Tuesday and then I should have Wednesday Thursday and Friday off so hopefully if all goes well 
with all of that. So, that is the main update for this week so far. So yeah, like I say, I am uploading videos. I'll probably schedule one Sunday. And then on the Monday, I will be able to do a weekly TBR and wrap up. Because... I finished a book so yeah all is good and also next week will be June so I can start filming some videos so yeah so tomorrow is the last day of May so I am literally gonna have to start filming videos of wrap-ups TBRs and like weekly TBR like all on Monday because that is my chance to do it and yeah just I can't believe it's already June I was just thinking to myself today that I actually really really enjoy the season of summer like I think it's brilliant some people hate it it's my favorite season yeah okay it's hot but the sun shining, it's lighter for longer. I mean, it's 8 p.m. now, and it's literally like it's, I don't know, two in the afternoon or something. It's just, it's so bright, and it's really bright early. I'm walking to work in, in the in the light. You know, I'm not scared of having to walk in the dark. You know, like, the, the weather's beautiful at the moment, and it makes me happy. The sun makes me happy. I managed to put my laundry away today as well, so that's another thing. So the agenda for the last couple of hours before I will actually retire to my bedroom is I would like to maybe edit one video. I haven't edited a video, and like I say, in a week or more. I just want that sort of like, mm, I want to edit a video. So I'll get another video edited, which will most likely be my first week of January vlog and yeah so feeling pretty good in all in all that sort of sense um yeah just I really really need to catch up on my reaction videos and on my weekly vlogs because I'm very very behind on them and I also am behind on just vlogging in general I just I just need to try and vlog every day even if it's like one minute's worth even if I didn't do a lot even if I'm just like yeah I work today going to bed it's something you know my life isn't exciting at the moment but I still need to try and do things and guys I've done very well with book buying this this month I bought one book like what the hell I bought one book and I'm currently reading it so Okay, you did really well. I've restrained myself when it comes to books. So, very proud of myself in that sort of sense. So yeah, editing the video. And then, once I've edited that video, I'll probably do a bit more reading. Um, but like I said, I'll talk more about my reading in my reading blog. And yeah, and then I'll, I'll watch an episode of from Black whilst updating my diary. It just seems to be the schedule before bed now. And then I'll doze off and fall asleep for my day of work tomorrow so there won't be like I'll try and vlog tomorrow but like there probably won't be a vlog tomorrow if that makes sense too um just because I'm working and I will probably be absolutely knackered it all provides if I actually sleep a lot better than like tomorrow so we should see so I'm gonna head off now just want to give you a quick update on the past couple of days and my plans for the rest of the day and I will speak to you guys very very soon bye <laughs>